Welcome to the Department of Design and Engineering at Bournemouth University and thank you for your interest in our programs. We hope this presentation helps in making your decision on which course is best for you. Based on two different campuses, Bournemouth University is a diverse community with 2,000 international students. PUs of international reputation being listed in the top 200 of the Times Higher Education Yang University Rankings 2018, which makes us feel very proud. Our main capital investments have been in modern resources and infrastructures, including a student centre, a fusion building, with seminar rooms, studio space and eating facilities, a recently refurbished sports centre and a design and engineering innovation centre, where our workshops are. There are many student clubs and societies students can join, and also bars and restaurants on campus and in town that will make you feel part of a vibrant community of staff and students. Design and engineering programmes are based within the Faculty of Science and Technology. The faculty has around 3,000 undergraduate students and the Department of Design and Engineering around 550 students studying one of our various programmes. Our programmes range from pure design on one end of the spectrum to full engineering on the other end. For those more interested in an engineering related subject, then we offer mechanical engineering and design engineering. Mechanical engineering is a broad engineering subject, so graduates can work in any industry. Design engineering may be of interest for those who have an engineering mindset, yet they have a passion for design. For those more interested on design, then we offer product design, which is amongst the best in the country and has a strong workshop, hands-on approach, and product design futures that looks at the future of design from a more conceptual point of view. We also ran three master's postgraduate programs and two integrated master's programs that link to our undergraduate programs. Learning at Bournemouth University may be quite different from the past experience of students. We encourage interaction between staff, students and their senior peers. That is why all our programs have a program leader. Each student has a dedicated academic advisor to support students in particular areas where they might be struggling and there is a student support and engagement coordinator where students will be able to discuss confidentially and away from the team if they wish so. We also ran a peer-assisted learning system where senior students support the integration of first-year students into university. Based on what we do for supporting students, we were the first university to be commended by the Quality Assurance Agency for Higher Education for the quality of student learning opportunities in 2013. Teaching is delivered with a balanced mix of lectures, small seminar groups and tutorials. By splitting assessments into small chunks of coursework, lecturers can give feedback that we can then use to improve on our next assignment. All support we need, including teaching materials, discussion forums, timetables and library resources, are accessible through a virtual learning environment called Brightspace. Being a university, we also engage not only in education, but in core research and professional practice. This allows us to develop new knowledge and innovative ideas that are passed on to our students, and to work with professional bodies and different companies, which link all develop into real-world case studies to bring into our programs. This opens up access to a professional network of designers and engineers. While students and graduates go through their careers, they can use that accreditation to become registered product designers or incorporated engineers. Typically after a bachelor's degree, up to chartered technological product designers or chartered engineers in the case of an integrated master's degree, which are important professional titles to have as these recognitions open more opportunities for students in our careers. All our courses were accredited by at least one professional body until 2018 and are seeking reaccreditation for the 2019 entry in what is normal process that happens every three to four years. Product design is seeking reaccreditation by the Institution of Engineering Designers and Design Engineering and Mechanical Engineering are seeking reaccreditation by both the Institution of Engineering Designers and the Institution of Mechanical Engineers. Product Design Futures is a new course where you'll be applying for accreditation in line with the other programmes. 
Engineering at BU is supported by extensive facilities that allow students to solve engineering problems from the concept stage through the virtual stage through to physical work and prototype stage. Very importantly within these programs, computer aided design, engineering simulation and design for manufacture is heavily embedded, which is something is seen that is key to the industry. We're very excited to say that we have recently had our new Design and Engineering Innovation Centre opening. These facilities host a new modern workshop environment. We've integrated virtual reality into our enhanced prototyping centre for 3D printing. We've incorporated an electronics laboratory and manufacturing centre. And we have two labs, one that deals with mechanics, dynamics and materials, and another with heat and thermofluids. When using these facilities, students are continuously supervised by a dedicated team of highly qualified professionals who support students during all the time they spend in the Innovation Centre. All our programs have a placement within the third year, so throughout the first and second year we offer a lot of support in developing students' CVs and interview skills to be able to get that placement. Um, we have students going all over the world for different companies. The fee for the placement year is a fraction of the normal fee to cover the admin support. And at the same time we would also be expecting students to get paid for the work that they are doing while they are out there in industry. Um, that experience is invaluable for their final year and as they move on into their full careers as this experience is also recognised by the professional bodies. The Eng M Eng Mechanical Engineering degree has a very high rate of employment in a professional graduate job six months after graduation. In fact the course has been ranked third in the UK for engineering for boosting graduate salaries in an article from The Economist published in 2017. Each year we host what we call the Festival of Design and Engineering. That's where we celebrate our students' time at university. Students would do their final projects and be able to present them at the show. Lots of industry comes to this show and students get a lot of opportunities for job interviews and presenting their final work to industry scouts. Um, we try and engage heavily with the professional bodies associated with our field. So with the first year design engineering and mechanical engineering students, we run something called the IMACI or the Institution of Mechanical Engineers Design Challenge competition and for three years we have won that in the local Wessex region against other universities in the region. Having come second in one of the national finals in the IMACI headquarters in London. This gives the students a real chance to meet other students of engineering courses across the country and to engage in a lot of the elements that are required to become a professional engineer. We also sent a team composed by a mix of students from different programs to participate in the Global Grand Challenges competition promoted by the Royal Academy of Engineering. After a challenging competition, first at national level in London and next against teams from the United States and China, Bournemouth University students came second in the international final held in Washington DC and were awarded $15,000 prize money. We have a strong emphasis on solving engineering problems from an up-to-date practical perspective by getting students involved in real projects or case studies that stem from the most current professional practice. On the other hand, we believe it's very important for engineers to learn how to communicate well to get across their ideas. So that element is heavily built within the different assessments that students do. The degree also has elements of electronics within it. It has elements of advanced simulation and manufacturing, and it provides a working knowledge of business management and commercial related issues. The BNG MNG Mechanical Engineering Programme aims are very broad, since it caters for a wide range of industry that can span from design and manufacturing to consultancy and research in sectors from automotive through the offshore, energy and aerospace industries to medical equipment and even financial services. The entry requirements for the BNG NNG Mechanical Engineering degree are a minimum of 104 up to 120 UCAS tariff points, including a minimum of two A-levels in a relevant subject. This is usually maths or a science or technology subject. We also require maths uh, grade C at GCSE. There are five 
main aims for the mechanical engineering degree at Bournemouth University, which I've highlighted in red as we go through. Firstly, we're looking to deliver this broad balanced education in the area of mechanical engineering. And by that, we mean that first we want to give the students a set of modern engineering skills. So that's the new manufacturing processes that are coming available, the new simulation tools that are becoming available, and the latest thinking and the latest material understanding. We also want students to be able to solve engineering problems, the practical side of engineering. This is a really important aspect for us of the programmes and one area that we've been commended on by the professional body, the Institution of Mechanical Engineers. So students get to put those engineering skills that they developed into real world problems. It could be life problems related to industry, for example. An important aspect also for an engineer is to be able to communicate what they've developed, what they've designed to get that out to the wider public and also to their colleagues and, and peers. So students will engage in presentations as part of the programme and also other forms of communication. Another important aspect for us is that students on the, coming from the programme will understand the business related aspects. Um, of working in the engineering context, also in the global context of business. Here you can see the structure of the course. We're split into four levels or years. Level four, year one, then level five, year two are studied and then the student has the option to go out on the placement year. The student will come back to level six, study the BEng level and then at that point they may decide to graduate with a BEng, but also if they see achieve a certain hurdle they can um, continue on to level 7 which is then graduate with an MEng honours degree. If you look at the way the program is set up year one is all about giving the students the opportunity to develop their understanding of all the core engineering principles you'll see that there's both mechanical principles in terms of engineering principles A and B but also students will equally learn about the electrical and electronic principles as any engineer nowadays cannot just um, ignore the fact that there's electronics within every um, generally with every product or design that they come up with. As we progress through the levels those principles are developed and become more applied um, there's a large final project at level 6 called the engineering project where the students get to undertake their own individual project that might be either related to industry or could also be related to uh, members of research, um, academic staff research. And then if they go on to level 7 it's all about deepening and broadening that understanding of engineering within a wider context. If we look at year one in a little bit more detail and firstly start with engineering principles. So this is where the students learn the fundamental theory of statics, dynamics, heats and fluids. And this particular unit is assessed through an examination and a piece of coursework, it's typically lab work. So on the majority of these units of study, students will get into the labs, learn the practical aspects and it gives them a better understanding of the theory when they can see it applied. Following on from that, the students will then study engineering design with practice. So this is again bringing together a number of the skills that they're learning in that first year and solving engineering projects. So they learn how to use CAD tools, so computer-aided design tools, so 2D and 3D modeling, a little bit of programming, workshop skills, and in this unit, students will engage in the Institute of Mechanical Engineering Engineers Design Project against other universities in the region. And if they progress from there, could go on to compete against other universities nationally. So this unit of study is all 100% coursework. The other unit studied in the first semester of the first year is engineering maths, the underlying um, maths knowledge that's needed to apply to solve engineering problems and that is assessed through in-class tests. In semester two, 
students will continue their knowledge and understanding by broadening their depth and deepening their depth of engineering principles so to further look at more complex statics dynamics heat and fluids and again the assessor examination and through um, more laboratory work the students will engage in their developing their understanding of, of material science um, and also further their knowledge of the use of engineering manufacturing tools and will be assessed on that through coursework and examination and lastly in the first year they'll study electrical electronic principles which is the introduction to those principles um, and again this will be assessed through a number of project related pieces of coursework here you can see some examples of first year student projects that we've run in the past so this is a project from electrical and electronic principles where the student had to design develop and build a light seeking robot which they then um, competed against each other to see who get around the track the fastest. This is the Institute of Mechanical Engineers Design Challenge that I mentioned earlier on. Um, so on the left there are the students who came second in the national final. They had to develop a device that would launch a squash ball onto a target uh, in a repeatable way where that target could actually be moving so the device had to be able to um, have some control over the range. Um, another challenge competition from 2017 shown on the right which is where the students had to design, develop and build a reversing vehicle that you had to go to a wall, again that the wall could be uh, moved to different distances and then reverse back to the exact point at which they started. And in both these competitions the students have a very limited budget with which to be able to build their design. Here's some examples of the practical work the students will do to understand some of the materials and technologies that are available to them. Um, so on the left the students build this small um, IC engine which they'll run off compressed air and on the right they build this um, vice. In second year students will go more into some of the mechanical design simulation software that's available so that we can actually test our ideas before we manufacture them to speed up the whole design process. Here's an example of a BNG project. Um, BNG level projects are more design based so this student was looking at redesigning one element of this ejector release unit and they were using simulation tool called finite element analysis you can see an output from that on the right and from that analysis they can understand the stresses and the strains and how much this is going to deform under the load um, and make the whole product more lighter by doing the analysis and be able to remove material. This particular project won a prize with the Institution of Engineering Designers so the student um, did some analysis of a gas manifold so they attached sensors to it and recorded what happens when this was going through its working life and again compared that data to a simulated model which is on the left in this particular example um, and were able to then determine where there were errors in the actual design of the part. Here is an MEng project so at the level 7 the final year of the program and here the projects are more research based so they might be in experimentation where they're trying to understand the effect of changing in parameters. So on the left, this was um, looking at how, how air contamination um, affects pressure testing in this refueling probe. And on the right, the student was using the really complex finite element analysis to look at what happens when you're attaching plastics and metals together. So, the opportunities that students have from mechanical engineering are wide and varied, could go into many, many different fields. Lastly, for entry to the programme for 2019, we are asking for between 104 and 120 UCAS tariff points for a minimum of two A levels. We do require a maths and a science or technology subject as part of those um, qualifications on entry. 
So from the converter on the left you can see that 104 points from A levels would be a BCC to 120 which could be a number of combinations that would range to a BBB. We will be reviewing all UCAS applications, so we would like to see in your UCAS form um, any examples of where you've got some relevant experience in the engineering field, and really the main thing is to get across your passion and enthusiasm for engineering.